Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these fireworks. First we'll create a background. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to black. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Next we'll create these lines. First pick a white color, get rid of the fill and select the stroke. Switch to the pen tool, click in the center and draw a straight line. With the line selected, press the letter R for the rotate tool and while holding down the Alt key, click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Change the angle to negative 45 and click copy. Now select only the top anchor point of this line and move it down and left. Select the top anchor point of the other line and move it down and right. Next select this anchor point and this time move it up and create a copy of the line. You can make it shorter or longer, it's up to you. Now create more lines in between to fill up the empty space. Select everything, group it together and let's make more copies. Using the Rotate tool click on this anchor point again, leave the angle as it is and click Copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard six times to repeat the last step. Open the Stroke panel and increase the Stroke weight to three points. Use the Width Profile number one. Let's hide the edges to better see our design. Remember to turn them back on when you are done. Next go to Effect, Warp and choose Arch. Highlight the number in the Bend window and using the down or up arrow keys on your keyboard adjust the bend. Then go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Next we'll add a gradient. Make sure the fill is on top then open the gradient window, select the radial gradient and add a color of your choice to the gradient slider. Now press the letter G for the gradient tool, click in the center and drag your mouse out. If needed adjust the gradient. Another option is to open the swatches panel, click on the swatch libraries menu Select Gradients and choose a Ready Presets from here. I'm going to use a gradient I've created before. Next we'll add a glow effect. Make sure your shape is selected and then go to Effect, Stylize and choose Outer Glow. Turn on the preview box and experiment with these settings to see what works for you. If you need to adjust the gradient, open the gradient panel. And if you need to adjust the outer glow, open the appearance panel and select outer glow. Now you could make a few copies, add different gradients, create a new layer and add text for example. Finally let's clean it up a bit. First zoom out, now draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard, select everything and either go to object, clipping mask and choose make or press the control and number 7 keys on your keyboard. Thanks for watching, bye bye.